The entire Mbappe community, a suburb of the Federal Capital Territory, on Saturday morning was greeted by news of a bank robbery. The Mbappe First Bank branch was the victim. The robbers had arrived at the bank after a staff of the bank simply referred to as Ladi with a Peugeot 206 ash color drove in. Police said the car contained weapons used by the robbers to attack the bank. The security on sighting the said bank staff opened the gate, unknown to him that the robbers were following right behind his car. Ladi quickly excused himself to buy water when the robbers arrested the security guard. The robber at the security post disguised as a security guard and they commenced the operation. The robbery operation was meant to go wrong as an unassuming mobile policeman attached to the bank came from behind the bank and on sighting the guard, Todd, gunned down the thief before he was apprehended by other robbers who had led him in and gagged him and other staff who were already in the bank for official duties. The security guard who was released by the Mopo found his way to Mpape police station to report the haste. The DPO Mpape led the squad of police personnel to the scene of the robbery. These eyewitnesses uh, who operate their shops close to the bank narrated how the drama all started. That time told you they were for you to in the morning. Yeah. So let her come and see people don't inside the bank, you understand? And that time told they are coming to the gate. Then one more come follow the thief and, and shoot go. No. One come out, one enter inside stay inside, so never come out now. This morning, as I'm walking here, I'm a weather. So, I saw the security man with Mopo. Then the security man was wounded. So, by then, the Mopo broke a alarm that there is an robber in the bank. And that is all. Before I know it, I saw one of the criminal with a Jalabia. So, after that, it was when the Mopo shoot, shoot him, but he did not get him on target. So after that, he now run inside. And since then, I've never seen any one of them come outside again. There was a standoff for several hours as police surrounded the bank, making it difficult for the thieves to escape. Shortly after, a reinforcement from FCT command and military personnel arrived the scene of the robbery. The chances of escape became glimmer as the personnel made the first attempt to gain access to the premises. The best of criminals would find it difficult to outwit the might and resolve of the security team. Luck had run out of the robbers. Two of the workers in the bank who were held hostage were let out by the armed robbers and they were quickly taken to safety by the personnel. The personnel made the first success after smoking the bank with tear gas canisters. They urged the robbers to surrender. With the density of the pepperidge fumes from the canisters, the first two robbers surrendered, while the other, who was earlier gone down, were all taken to the FCT command. It took another one hour for the remaining armed robber, who was said to be on a white Janabia, to be captured, and an AK-47 and other pieces were recovered. After several minutes, another special police squad arrived to smoke the bank on suspicion that another robber was still in the premises of the bank. The arrested robbers uh, who confessed to the personnel said they got information from a bank staff who also opened the bank to give them access. The divisional police officer of Mpapi is surrounded by young boys cheering her for the success attained. All attempts uh, to elicit information from her field. ITV contacted the deputy police relations officer of FCT, Miriam Yusuf, who simply said she was due to release a statement. Meanwhile, the FCT police command in a statement said it in response to a distress call for an attempted robbery attack at the First Bank branch in Papi. The police operative said this was made possible after it deployed personnel to the scene with backup from the military. The statement also confirmed that four suspects were arrested and one shot dead. The Commissioner of Police has ordered a discreet investigation into the incident. 
Just before ITV left the bank, the personnel arrested two other suspects in connection with the haste. They were said to have connived with the robbers to rob the bank. The ever busy and single road that leads into and out of Mpapi that was deserted by motorists for the fear of the robbers has since returned to its usual flow of traffic. Gabriel Kuma, ITV News Abuja.